hello everybody uh, if you are been here before thank you for coming back to the channel and if you're new thank you for joining me for one of my favourite videos of the month which is my completed pages um, so in August I actually coloured 47 pages which is a lot of me there's a lot of patterns I'm going to admit there's a lot of patterns there's also a lot of books I haven't coloured in before so I'm really happy with that um, particularly Jade Summer, I've done a lot of Jade Summer in August. So let's have a look. So first of all I did one in Creative Haven's Rose Windows. I'm just trying to get the setup right. It's been a while since I filmed in here. And so I did this one. And I dusted this with various uh, markers. I think they were the um, Boldmere ones from the works. I really love this book. Um, I haven't got that. Oops. A bit, uh, sort that out later. But uh, yeah, I like working this book. I think they're so beautiful. So yeah, that was just done with that. I'll find somewhere to put them now because there's so many of them. I did do, uh, uh, I think, two, was it? Yeah, two in Sally Berry's 300 Mandalas. I do like this book as well, I just like picking it up and having a go. So let me just find the ones I did. Now with these I tend to colour them in order, so they should be quite easy to find. That's one of my favourites actually so far. So I did this one, and again this was just done with various um, glitter gel pens, probably the Link Shines, because they are my favourites and I've got so many of them, I just don't mind colouring with them all the time. And then... I just did this black and gold one again with the link shines because I just felt like doing a two-tone so I really like that. I think it looks really nice. Find somewhere to put that one now. <laughs> That's a big one. I, I did do one in Stefania Miro's Easy Flower Mandalas. This is one of the first books I got. I've done quite a few in this book and I do like it. And again, it's just been done with the bold mirror. Uh, markers. I might do one with um, pastel colours next time but again I really do like this book. I love my patterns. Um, you might have noticed I've tried to sort them out into patterns and mandalas, then pictures, then pattern and mandala, colour by numbers and then colour by number pictures. So that's why you've seen all the patterns first. I should explain that at the beginning but no I didn't. So that's that one. Then the next one I've got is another 300 page mandala book, um, which I got, I got this one last month, it was in my haul. I've only done one so far and I've done the first one. Again, this has just been using my alcohol markers, probably the bold me looking at it. Let me take that out, I don't need that now. <laughs> um, I just love markers in these. I do use pencils as well sometimes, but not very often that one so I'll be doing some more in these some of these book pattern books this month so I, I do find it very relaxing to do them then I got swirls for beginners by Jade Summer this is one I just like to do every now and again I haven't done many in this one to be honest and I just did this one this was done using the Giotto glitter pens if you remember when we did our first impressions I did do a bit of colouring in this book with them and I do quite I like them they're very nice. Also Jade Summer books, put that separate. Uh, I did one in Creative Haven's <coughs> Infinite Illusions colouring book by John Wick. I think I love this book. It, this reminds me of a computer game from the 80s to be fair. Kind of like a Pac-Man type game, maze game. And I, I just like them. And again, it was just done using the Bold Mirror markers. Is it? Just four colours. Red, green, yellow and blue. It took a while but I did enjoy that one. Uh, I did one in Unicorn Colouring Book. You would have seen a uh, flip through of this one on the channel. Um, this was so cute. And again, it was just done using the, this time the uh, Deco Time Twin Markers from B&M. And a gel pen. And he's so cute. She's so cute. I love unicorns. So I'm glad I got this book. 
didn't take very long because they are for kids so if I just want a nice easy unicorn picture to do <laughs> I'm in this one uh, one from Colour Your Hood 2022 Cute Animals by Jade Summer and this is volume 2 I have got both of them and I did colour in the other one as well it's just not yet and I did this cute little frog again it's just alcohol markers just the um, oh, Deco Time twin markers but he's such a cute little frog and I'm glad because I hadn't coloured in this one before so it is one off of Colour My Hold I'm really pleased to be actually getting through some of the uh, ones I haven't coloured in another Jade Summer book but I had coloured in this one before is Space so Jennifer started colouring in this book and she just scribbles so I took over when she got bored and I just put it away but I'm trying to get rid of all the whips that I've got so I came back and I finished it off this one uh, this is just I, this what book I just use Crayola crayons in so as you can see there's a bit of red there that's where Jennifer was just scribbling on it but I, it turned out okay actually I like using the Crayola crayons it's just so much fun and the other one she scribbled on was this one I don't know if you can see there's a red mark there that's just a bit of crayon but in here there's all red in his helmet there was red all down here but I just went over it and and, and just coloured it in with colours similar to what we put over it and I actually quite like the way it turns out I love using the crayons it's just fun using crayons as you see she scribbled on this page as well with something white and I don't mind in this book I don't mind it's just for fun this one and then another one from Colour Your Hoard 2022 is Graffiti Animals again Jade Summer I said I did I just got a pile of Jade Summer ones I haven't marked this one and literally I've just put them on top of the thing and I pick one every now and again um, off of the pile and just do a picture in that book and I did the jellyfish and again it's just markers these ones probably uh, looking at it this would be the uh, twin markers deco time they are running out fast with some glitter gel pen for the words jellyfish I enjoyed that it was actually really nice to do Cute Animals Volume 1 by Jade Summer. Another one for Colour Your Horde 2022. As you can see, I really got through them this time, didn't I? And I did this gorgeous little elephant. I only did this one the other day. And I really loved it. It's just before the end of the month. He was so cute to do. So again, this was all various markers. This one was a real mishmash. So I've got some from oh god what is it uh, our teaser on his tusk and here um these ones were oh hoo hoo and the others i have no idea they could be oh hoo hoo they could be any of the others i got so many it used to be i would just use one set and just color with that set now i'm just using anything to get what i want and he is so adorable i've done so many jade summer books here's another one for color your horn 2022 tattoos volume two I did this one of the anchor in the rose I think it's really cute again just various markers I don't worry like I said it's just all different markers and I just whack them in it's a mixture of oh hoo hoo twin markers and bold me so Next we've got a whip that has been hanging around for over a year that I finally finished and it's from uh, Mind Summer Spicer Gang or My Summer Walk by Rita Berman. I started this when I was on holiday in Tenby last year and never finished it. Um, and it is this double page spread. Started it with Prisma colours, probably finished it with God knows what. <laughs> I think I used um, Prismas, Polys and Black Widows. I think it's a very brightly coloured uh, scene of various houses i mean it's really cute i do like this book i will i do want to get the others i just i'm just trying not to buy anything at the moment another jade summer from color your Horde 2022 girls can be anything and where is it girls can be photographers because that's me and jennifer picked this picture and she said you color that one mummy 
So sometimes I do let Jennifer pick pages for me and she picked this one. She said, because you like doing that. <laughs> so funny. There's that one. So as you can see, I coloured a lot. There's a lot of markers, to be fair. But I do like the markers. I, d I have got some pencil ones somewhere, I promise. Now, this is Kawaii Foods. Now, Jennifer has coloured in this one. Um, it was for me. But as you can see, Jennifer has half the first half of the pages. And I have the second half. I've got an orange tab in there so I know where the duplicate pages start. And I did the first one again, which Jennifer did. Again, I used various markers. I think this was all the um, twin markers, because that's Anise yellow but that's a dark yellow so it might have come from a different pack um but yeah i enjoyed that it's really sweet so that one me and jennifer are actually working in together she has her set pages i have mine what i probably will do is at some point i will just cut them out and i'll put them in a folder i just can't be bothered to do it right now um the adult coloring book another jade summer book i i don't know sure whether i colored in this one before no this is another one color your hoard that's the Mom colouring book. Do you know what? It seems like years since I did this. It seems like absolutely years. Yeah, I know it was only last month. It was must be right at the beginning. Because that's the bold that that's the um Deco Time twin markers. I can tell that by the colour. But the red's not. The red is uh, oh hoo hoo. Isn't it funny how you can tell by the colours? <laughs> but again, just trying to get some of my hoard down, which is good news few relaxed with arts coming up oh there's quite a few actually so the first one is this is a christmas one i think yeah christmas one again this one's been hanging around for a couple of years so i decided to finish it off because as you know i am whipping the whips and trying to get rid of them all and i'm doing really well i've got about five left and most of those are double page spreads <clears throat> so this is santa and he is checking his list and this was done with i think various pencils because I don't like the way pencils go down in this book at all <laughs> I just don't I think I finished it with prismas but I'm not sure there's that one now uh, this relax with art I did oh I love this one quite oh, it's like years since I did this one as well this one with my markers and again I love it this was probably the this is a mixture of the um twin markers Bold and bold mirror with some a glitter gel pen as well on her tassels and her the top part of her outfit just because she was so she sparkles I like this page I think it looks really nice with a dark blue background I'm actually enjoying colouring and relax with arts at the moment I'm really really enjoying them colouring heaven next gothic fantasy by Ennis Guerrero and I did uh, this one which is let Estrella, the star, and as you can see it was done with pencils, Prisma colours. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that one, it didn't take too long, but uh, I wanted the water to look like water would look at night, which if there's enough moonlight and enough starlight, it looks almost like mercury. It's a very silvery thing. There's that one. I'm going to have fun putting all these books away, aren't I? Not. <laughs> and then another Relax With Art one. This one is Issue 84. And oh, that's a nice one. Let me just find it. Where are you? And this one was done for Coloropoly, which is hosted by Sarah at Chronic Colouring Down Under. So I had three rolls and three prompts and one of my prompts was fairy. So I did this beautiful fairy with a unicorn. Um, again, it's just various markers. I believe it was the twin markers, the Art Deco twin markers. And on her wings I've used the Giotto Turbo Glitter pens and also on the unicorn's uh, hair, um, his mane, tail and his horn. So yeah, so that was one of my prompts for Coloropoly. Uh, this is also a prompt for Coloropoly. And my prompt for this one was uh, Summer. So I picked this lovely lady sitting on the beach. 
Again, it's been done with my uh, twin markers. And yeah, I just enjoyed colouring it. Nice sunny summer one for Colouropoly. All my Colouropoly ones together. So the next one's also Colouropoly. And it's also, all of these are also Colour Your Hordes 2022. There's a lot of them, isn't there? <laughs> so there's this one. I did, like, my last prompt for August was a favourite character. So I did Betty Boop entering Hollywood. So. And then this was done with various markers. Yeah. I would say, looking at it, it was done again with the twin markers. But I do like it. I love Betty Boop. So that was my Colouropoly's favourite character prompt. Another whip I have had hanging around for a long, 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 long time was in Back in Time by Relax Blood. This is the holiday special that they do quarterly. And um, this one was like, obviously back in time, so it's all different decades and eras. A um, long time ago, I started this one of the girls from the 1980s. And all I'd done on this picture, literally, when I abandoned it for whatever reason, was this skin. So I had a lot to do on this one. There is some glitter gel pen on the stars and the glitter ball. Um, but the rest of it is various markers. So we've got um, Windsor and Newtons here for the bright fluorescent colours. And then twin markers for the rest of it. But yeah, I enjoyed doing that. I'm glad I finished it. I love the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, so for me this was one of my favourites. enjoyed that one. Uh, another one that I hadn't coloured in before, Deco Dolls by Carla Magania. And I did this one. This was a buddy colour with Chelsea Jade Murray. Oh no, Chelsea. She's fantastic. We always do a buddy colour every month and we usually do a, a Carla Magana one. Again, this has been done with various markers. Um, the bold mirrors, uh, I'm not sure what the skin tone was, but I also used the Giotto glitter pens as well. So I like that one. It's not my favourite Carla Magana I've done, but I, you know, it was an experiment and yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I need to change my battery. I'll be back. Okay, we're on to the colour by numbers now. I've actually got the pictures first and then the patterns, which is fine, I don't mind. So we got Kawaii Colour by Number by Colour Questopia. I did loads in this book. I love this book. It's one of my favourites. I'm not going to lie. So I saw this on somebody's channel. I can't remember whose channel it is. I do apologise, but I did, I think, four or five in this one. Four, I think. I just love it. Look at it. So again, this was done using um, a glitter gel pen, silver gel pen for the edges. And then um, the Deco Time twin markers, but although it will change, and we've used different markers throughout it. So this was I do them in order. So I did this one, and this one. Jennifer loves this one, the lollipops. I did this one as well. I love this one. This is so cute. Again, these are all the the twin markers at the moment, and then I think I changed it on the last one. And these are a mixture of different markers. Um, but I did those four out of that one. And I I do love them. I will be doing more in this book this month. I am keeping my colour by numbers because I'm loving them right now. They're just so easy to do in bed at night when I'm watching telly or just trying to relax. Again, I saw this on somebody's channel and I can't remember who it was. But this is... Uh, Sachi and Sachi Davis, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I know St. Patrick's Day is in March, but I don't care. I love leprechauns and things like that. And so, I mean, it's a kid's book, but it's so cute. And I just did this one to start with. And I just think he's adorable. So this is just such a cute book. I have got a flip through to go up on this. I just love it. I think it's so sweet. Um, we all know my favourite one is Stained Glass Egyptian Designs because I love anything to do with Egypt. So I did another one in here. This book is not long to be finished. I tell you, there's not many left. Um, it won't be this year, but I mean, next year I'll be finishing this one, definitely. It's not a lot left because you can see there's that. There are only a few left. So it's, I, I might do 10 books to finish in 2023 and this would be definitely on the list. But I do love this. Again, uh, 
Deco Time Twin Markers on this one. Love it. I just love this book. I'm going to have to get it again. It's just so nice. Do it again. <laughs> then I've got a Halloween colour by number by Prachi Dewan, such diva. Um, I'm just getting ready for Halloween. I love anything spooky, so it doesn't bother me what time of year I do it in. But I did this one, again using my markers. Um, this one I would say was again using the twin markers. And again, I do like this book. I'll be doing this again this month because we are now getting close to Halloween. Yay! Piles of books everywhere. And then I would got another Halloween colour by number. This one for adults by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And I did this one. And I think he's so cute, the little ghost in the house. Just saying happy Halloween. Again, a mixture of markers from the twin markers and the bold mirrors on this one but oh, I really enjoyed doing that one I just love that one it's so cute I did a couple in which fancy one was a buddy colour I do apologize I can't remember who it was I did it with but this was the buddy colour I did two so I did this one again this is another book I really like colouring in and again this was done using the twin markers and I also did that one, which is another gorgeous one. This is such a lovely book. I mean, I've never been big on colour by numbers and I've got quite a few colour by number books now and I'm enjoying uh, doing them. I particularly like these, these picture ones. The pattern one's great too, but uh, yeah, we'll be getting more uh, colour custopia. I'm trying not to buy at the moment just because I'm trying to save money because Christmas is coming and of course everything is going up, so. But of course, once I get my payout from Google, which won't be long, hopefully. I will buy some books. I love that one. Oops, they've all just fallen down. I'll start to put them away soon. 100 Easy Mandala, colour by number, Satin at Steva Volume 1. So I like this book as well. It's nice and simple. Again, this was, I've done, oh, I've done two in this one, have I? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was done using the twin markers again because I just use them a lot. I do like this one, and again, twin markers. You can see this one's running out. That's rose beige. Um, but yeah, this is a great book. I mean, again, I, I, it, it goes without saying, if it's colour by number, I, I, although it bolts the numbers up, that's not why I colour them, I just colour them because I find them very relaxing. I have got quite a few pictures on the go, and some I really want to do as well this month, so. Beautiful Patterns, Colour by Number by Jade Summer. Again, I did this one using the Twin Markers. Again, these patterns are, are very sweet, very lovely. And these ones are a bit more in deep, complicated because there's so much to them, they fill up the page pretty much. But I do like it. I think it's an amazing one. I'll have a sip of tea because mm -hmm. I'm getting thirsty and a Coke in a minute. Next, colour by number Christmas again. This is a Jade Summer, and if you think it's not nowhere near Christmas, I don't care. I don't care. I wanted to colour in this book, so I did. And when I find it, I did this one again using the twin maskers. Again, I, I do like this one. I like anything Christmas though. I'm a big Christmas person, so I will be doing some more in that this month, hopefully. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee it, but it depends. Colour by number patterns, Jade Summer again, uh, this one. I prefer the one they call Beautiful Patterns. I do think it's a nicer one, but it's still nice. It's, you know, still good colours. Even, you know, and I'm using the alcohol markers rather than the water-based ones for a while now. Because um, I've got a load of uh, alcohol markers that are going to be going soon. Uh, so I want to see what I've got so I know I have got a complete set of Artesas ready to go that I use every now and again sparingly. But I'm saving up for some more, uh, probably hoo-hoo-hoos, because I do like them. Put that there to one side. Uh, Jade Summer Mandala Colouring Book, um, colour by numbers. Again, this is a good one. I've done quite a few in this one actually. 
And that's that one. They, they, these don't take very long. Look how small they are on the page. They don't take up much of the page at all. Oops, I stuck to my finger. They don't take much. We're not. We're getting there. Not many left now. <laughs> but again, um, God, I can't think. Uh, twin markers, uh, deco time. Now I'll just jump and take whichever ones I want. I think oh, I'll have that colour next. That colour next. Colour by number flowers again. Jade summer. This one. That was deco time. Twin markers. I can tell by the shade of lemon. It's called Elise. It's a beautiful colour. Again, these don't take long. These don't take long, but I enjoy doing them. They are just so relaxing. It's like, oh, I need a red. Oh, I need a pink. And it doesn't matter. You just grab it and you go. And I love it. Next is 50 Diamond Mandalas Colour by Numbers by Sachin Sachdeva. Most of my books are by Sachin Sachdeva just because I like his work. I really do. And Prachi. I've got a few of hers as well. So there's this one. Again, this was done with the various markers. I say various because there's a very dark one in there. I think that's black, yeah. So that would be a hoo hoo or bold mirror. And the rest of it's going to be deco time twin markers. I believe. Ah, there's some hoo hoo in there. That's a hoo hoo colour. So as you can see, I just mix and match all the markers now and just stick down whatever colour I think is going to look right. Uh, Christmas Patterns Colour by Number by Prachi Duan Sachdeva. This is this one. Oh, I love Christmas. Now, on these ones, you've got the writing as well. So, although I haven't counted them as the counted that as a picture, I had to colour in this one first. And we are better throughout the year for having spirit. Become a child again at Christmas time. Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then I coloured this one. Again with various. Did I do that one or is that the one I did before? No, that's the one I did before. Sorry, it was Christmas is truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving a light of love to those who need it most. Oh yes, that's right. It was this one. He's gorgeous, this one. With a little snowman. Jennifer loved this one as well. She was, oh I love the snowman. And then I wrote, did this page. I get so confused with this one because of the writing. I love the Christmas tide and yet I noticed this each year I live, I always like the gifts. I get but how I love the gifts I give and that is true because Christmas is about giving whether it's presents, uh, love, support, compassion, help to charity and, and so on. Yeah I do like that book. Yeah, that one and then Christmas again Color by Number Bandalas by Sash and Sash David. This is a dinky little book isn't it? It's so cute and yeah Again, various markers, oh hoo hoos, um, deco time, bold mirror. I don't tend to use the Ateezer Ever Blends on here. I might use them from my first set, which I'm still working my way through, but the second set is just sitting there. I've had them a year. <laughs> I do use them occasionally if there's a colour missing that I need. But there's that one. This is a long video, so I hope. I'm not boring you. Um, I did do one in this one, didn't I? I haven't marked this one. Is it, which one did I do? It was this one. So the next one is 50 Christmas Mandalas, colour by number Satin Such Diva. And I did this one, again with various markers, mostly the twin markers. Again, I think this, this book is just adorable. the very last picture I've got to show you is from 50 Halloween Mandala Colour by Numbers by Sachin Sachdeva and I did this one with the skulls. I do like this one I think it's really sweet. Um, again I love anything spooky I love gory and spooky hence why I've got the beauty of horror books but I can see me doing a few more pages in this before the end of October um, again, I will be trying to do colour your hoard, but that is all the pages I coloured in the month of August. I can't pick a favourite because I love them all and I had a really, really good time. I read a load of books. Um, you'll see that when I do my reading wrap up, but I also colour.
coloured a ton of pages and I'm so happy I did. I had a great time. Uh, a great, great time in, in, in August. Let's hope September's is good and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. I know it was a long one. It probably won't be as long next time and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!